So it's pretty interesting for Islam Akashev, right? His first title defense is coming against a guy who has not been a part of this division. And I think that only heightens the pressure for Islam. One thing I've said repeatedly about Islam Akashev, I'm not sure there has ever been a fighter in UFC history that had more expectations placed upon him before he became a UFC champion. For Islam, whether it was Javier Mendez or Khabib Nurmagomedov, it was like championship or bust for this guy, right? And he lost his UFC debut, obviously he hasn't lost since. But I think this is a significant challenge in terms of Alexander Volkanovsky. We don't know how Volk's gonna look at 155 pounds. I think it stands to reason that he's gonna be better than he was at 45. I don't think he's gonna lose much in terms of the speed. I think what's gonna be most interesting for me is those first grappling sequences and those transitions. How does the physicality and the nuanced game of Islam Makhachev affect Volkanovski and how does he hold up under that pressure? But uh, I don't know, man. Volk's been built for this rugby league, his UFC career. I certainly think right now the fight is closer than, than the betting line indicates. You know, I don't think the weight difference of uh, Volk going up is going to be that big a deal. He used to be a really big guy, you know, and um, he has a 45er, but I think he'll be able to put the weight on fine. His speed's going to be really, really good there. So it's going to be a very interesting fight, um, a close fight. Islam's just so strong on top, though, so it's hard to, hard to bet against guys, so I'll have to bet with Islam. Um, I think the big difference is with training with somebody that weighs more than you and fighting somebody that weighs more than you is when, a, when, it's, when it's a fight, it's real. When you're training, it's not. And like, you can't even get in, into that, that mental space when you're training. But when you fight, it's real, and, and the guy that you're fighting, you gotta remember, he's cutting weight. You don't know how much he's gonna weigh on the day. I think it's totally, I, th I think it's totally different. But when I was 205, you know, I, I trained with with heavyweights, and then when I moved up to heavyweight, um, it didn't it didn't bother me. But I, I never fought any super big heavyweights though. Yeah, I think Volk, he's super good. I think uh, going up is probably the next step for him. He's kind of you know cleaned out the division at, at 45. But going up against Islam, I think is uh, is a tall order. I think Islam is just of kind of a version of himself, but bigger, stronger. I mean, he's he's as big as Brendan Schaub almost, you know what I mean? So uh, I think that's gonna be, that's gonna give him some issues. I wanna pick Islam versus uh, Okanowski off the strength of Islam, just bigger guy. And we know he's gonna use his wrestling. He was able to take down and like manhandle Oliveira. So I, I do believe Okanowski will be able to put up a better Fight, but I do think he gets taken down eventually, second round, third round, and um, Islam's able to find the uh, the finish on the ground. If you're into thick boys, <laughs> like, subscribe, comment, and God bless America. Well, that's not my big one. Just kidding. <laughs>